Hey, what is up, everybody? CJ Hawkins here. Welcome to Monday Night Retro Gaming. And first off, I'd like to say Happy New Year. And it's the year 2022. And I didn't think I was going to kick off this year with playing another John Madden football game. And the reason why I'm playing another John Madden football game is because last week, NFL Hall of Famer, greatest commentator, greatest coach of all time, John Madden, had uh, sadly passed away. Rest in peace, John Madden. Thank you for the memories on commentary and all the great Madden games that we played over the years. So, four months ago, I played John Madden football on Sega Genesis. It was the very first home port version for any console, and it was only exclusively on Sega Genesis. So, the next year, they made John Madden football in 92, on Sega Genesis and John Madden Football 92 on Super Nintendo. But it was a little bit different though. So, you know, why not? Let's play another John Madden Football game to honor this episode of Monday Night Retro Gaming to John Madden. So you got all 28 NFL teams. Well, not really. NFL teams, they're just by city, but we all get the gist of who they are. I guess I'll play the as the Philadelphia Eagles, of course. And you get the All Madden team, which back in the day, if you were going to be in the All Madden team, you had to be the best. You had to be that you have to be really good that year to be in the All Madden team. Um, don't know who to play against. Maybe against Pittsburgh, why not? In the snow. So the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles, why not? So all you younger viewers out there, if you're wondering, like I said uh, a couple months ago in my other review for John Madden Football and Genesis, there's 28 teams in this one as well. No Jaguars, no Panthers, no Texans. The Houston Oilers are the Tennessee Titans, and the original Cleaver Browns are in it. Not the, uh, not the new ones. The original Cleaver Bounds are the Baltimore Ravens, just to let everybody know. All right. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. Good. Hot. Ah. Boy, have the times have changed. And you know, just to let everybody know, you can say what you want to say about the modern day, you know, Madden football games on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4. When it came from Madden NFL 13 and so on and so forth. Yeah, they're not as good as they used to be, which is true, because they removed a lot of features in the game and they changed a lot of things for the worse. Nowadays, it's just microtransactions and DLC that you have to pay for. But this was my generation. What we got was what we got. That's it. And we did the work by creating a football team in the PlayStation 2 format of Madden NFL football. I think my all-time favorite Madden games were like Madden 07, Madden 08 on PlayStation 2. Especially the uh, 360 and PS3 as well. First down. Good. Hot. Nothing. But if you want to know the worst football game out there, the NFL game on NES. And I did a review of that 
uh, back in September of 2020. Boy, that was the worst football game ever made. Oh, God, really? He was picked off. Not my fault. But anyways, what was I saying? But yeah, say what you want to say about the NFL game on uh, PS4, Madden NFL. Uh, the, the modern day NFL games, let's just say. But I dare anybody to play Madden. I mean, not Madden. I dare everybody to play the NFL game on NES. Because that's the worst football game ever made. And I already did a review of that. Who made it? Not EA Sports. Not Tecmo. LJN. Yes, LJN once upon a time made a football game on Nintendo. They did make uh, NFL Quarterback Club. It was a little bit better. I think it was called NFL Quarterback Club on Super Nintendo and Game Boy. But no, NFL on NES is the worst football game ever made. I'm sorry for uh, stumbling over my words, but... Oh, God. For let him off the hook. Probably one of these days I'm going to play John Madden football on 3DO. Which I do have the 3DO console still. It's been a long time I've used that console. Oh god. Oh god. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. <clears throat> All right, Set. here we go. Hot. 28. Red. Hot. Come on, really? First down. That's the end of the first quarter. There's no score yet. Would you guys let me know in the comments section below, what is the worst football game besides NFL on NES that was made by LJN? You let me know in the comments section below, was there a worse football game besides NFL from LJN? Because I don't think it's going to happen. And if there is, let me know in the comments section below if you want me to play it. Set. Red. Hot. Hot. Can't stop him. Can't stop the running game. Four minutes and five seconds to go. Now it's four minutes remaining. It's ridiculous. We're killing time. Set. Red. 28. Red. Hot. All right. Second and eight at the 12 yard line. See what happens here. No gain. You're at the blitz. 
I think this is also the game that, uh, now I remember this correctly, that when somebody gets injured, then the ambulance drives by and just plows down every single NF uh, football player. I meant to say NFL player, but... Oh, come on! And say what you want to say about the graphics of this game. The graphics for 16-bit are not that bad at all. And the gameplay is really good. Like, EA Sports at that time really got it. They got it correctly. And I can't say not one negative thing about the John Madden football games on Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. They were just right on the money. Like, yeah, I missed the uh, the Tecmo Super Bowl games. They were pretty good. And NFL Game Day and uh, NFL 2K. Okay, maybe uh, NFL 97 was a little bit bad, too, on Sega Saturn. There we go. Two minute warning. Third and two. Set, hot. Two yard gain. That's enough for a first down. Here we go. Set, hot. All right. Set, hot. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go! There we go. 52 yard gain on the play. First down. John Madden would used to say, now that is big time football. Set, hot. That's just, oh no! First down. What the hell, man? That freaking sucks. <laughs> oh, whatever. We need turnovers in the second half. We need to do better. Set, hot, hot. Now they're calling timeouts. They're trying to get a touchdown before the second half. Oh, and just to let everybody know, you don't do uh, two-point conversions around this time. The two-point conversion rule did not take effect until 1994. Just to let everybody know. Twelve yard gain. First down. Okay. Set. Hot. Hot. 
Oh, we should have caught that. It should have been caught. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. <sighs> Sack. Ten yard loss. Third and twenty. Set. Hot. Hot. And we're in halftime. We got to play better defense. All right, here we go. Second half. Steelers up 7 nothing. Fourteen yard gain. First down. A Fifty yard kick. Not bad. Set. Twenty eight. Red. Hot. Twenty hot. <laughs> Six yard gain. Pittsburgh up seven nothing. And I'm trying to stop the Steelers for scoring another touchdown. Come on, really? Great. First down. No, I really do miss uh, John Madden when uh, he used to do commentary with Pat Summerall. I first started watching NFL like around 89, 90, and Pat Summerall and John Madden were on commentary with CBS Sports at the time. And then when CBS Sports lost their license, um, they didn't commentate the NFL for like four or five seasons because around that time, Fox picked up the rights for broadcasting the NFC uh, conference teams on uh, Fox at that time. And Pat Summerall and John Madden uh, worked with Fox until the 2001 NFL season, the season that Tom Brady won his first Super Bowl. And that was the final time Pat Summerall and John Madden commentated together and then John Madden moved on to ABC Sports with Al Michaels for like around 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, for like 7 more seasons and that was it and his final Brock, uh, his final time uh, broadcasting a football game was Super Bowl 43 with the Steelers and the Cardinals kind of wish as an Eagles fan it was the Eagles and the Steelers and then you would be saying, oh, well, the Eagles would have lost to the Steelers anyways. I would have been okay with that. If we would have lost to the Steelers that year, fine, whatever. It's whatever to me. Hey, as long as we didn't lose to the Patriots like you did in Super Bowl uh, 39, that was bad. It was a close game, but still. But at least we got revenge against the Patriots involving Tom Brady. <laughs> still the best night ever. Set. Red. Hot. Hot. Wait. Touch back.
I gotta do better decisions against the Steelers. Throw two picks. All right, 24 yard gain with a first down. First down. Set, hot. Five yard gain, second and five at midfield. Ah, uh, shotgun. I'm gonna try this. There we go. Three yard gain, though. Third and two. That's the end of the third quarter. Go to something big near the fullback. I might regret this decision, but I don't know. I think it's a good play. Four yard gain, first down. First down. All right. Nine yard gain, second and one. See, even if I waste time, I have to go for a field goal and tie it up. Because there's no such thing as two-point conversions yet until 94. First down. Set, hot. I'm going to go for it. And I'm duking. And I'm running. Vandal Cunningham runs 12 yards. I believe also this is the season that the Eagles were the on-sign favorites to go to the Super Bowl. But in the first play, the, uh, the first few plays in the first week of the regular season, Cunningham was out for the year. Tough break for the Eagles that time. Because... They had a really good team. And who knows what would have happened if we still had a healthy Randall Cunningham. I mean, yeah, we had Jim McMahon as our backup, but... I mean, he wasn't the best quarterback, but... Oh, five-yard gain. First goal at the two. First down, two yards to go. First and goal at the two. Set, hot. Go, 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 go! One yard gain. <whistles> Two minute warning. Let's go for a quarterback sneak. All we got to do on defense, if we score. Set, hot. Touchdown. Now we got to do is uh, make sure the Steelers don't score another touchdown Set, or kick a field goal to win. We're tied up at seven with a minute 59 to go. Eighteen yard gain. First down. All right, first and ten at the Steelers twenty eight yard line.
Now you can't even celebrate and not even uh, taunt or do a celebration dance anymore because it's considered unsportsmanlike oh, conduct. All right, intercepted. First down. That was exactly what we needed. A turnover. That was exactly what we needed. A turnover. A 10-yard gain and a first down. First down. First down. Hot. Gain four yards. Now, 60 seconds. I'm killing time. Look at an instant replay. All right. Time out. Kill the clock. That's what you want to do. Take the victory. Set. 28. Hot. Pick is up and it is. Oh. That was a bad, bad move. Get another chance. <sighs> so what happens? First down. We're in overtime now. One yard gain for the first down. First down. Tough game, seven to seven. Set, hot. And now it's second and ten at the thirty five. We go. Set, hot. Let's try this. Go, go, go! Oh. If I would have avoided him. I'd like to score a touchdown. Touchdown! Touchdown! 
touchdown and the game is over. Can we kick a field goal? That's it. And with that note, that about wraps it up with John Madden Football 92 on Genesis. That was John Madden Football 92 and uh, what could I say? All the John Madden football games are iconic. They're a lot of fun to play. And um, this was my childhood when I first started watching the NFL and playing football games. This was all we had. It was this or nothing. Even though I like the PlayStation 1 games and the PS2 games of Madden NFL series, a few of them were okay, but I don't know. You can say what you want to say about the uh, the newer Madden games that you see year after year after year after year. It's just that, I don't know. It's like it's not as fun as it used to be. But it's not as worse as the NFL on NES that was made by LJN. They were the kings of messing everything up. So, so that's all I got to say about that. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Happy New Year. And this has been another episode of Monday Night Retro Gaming. And I'm out of here. And rest in peace, John Madden. Thank you for the memories.